should all know is a phenomenon that affects everybody. We all age, and a lot of people don't know why. So today I'm going to explain to you why I think aging is a combination of two theories, contradictory to what most scientists actually think today. So I'll start off with my journey through research. Basically, I've pretty much been obsessed with biochemistry and the aging theories for a while now. And I was reading a book about one of the theories about aging, and I was intrigued by the theory called the free radical theory. I started taking interest into it, and pretty much I was hooked. So there are two main theories of aging today. The first one is the telomere theory. Telomeres are coils of DNA at the end of your chromosomes. They are a short code of TTAGGG, and they, they're there to protect your chromosome from cancer and from DNA mutations. Scientists today believe that since telomeres shorten with each round of cell division, that after your cell is finished dividing, the telomeres no longer exist, and thus your cell is not able to replicate causing aging and senescence. The second theory is the free radical theory. So free radicals are a species called reactive oxygen species, which are unstable particles which come from the environment or in your body, and they steal atoms and particle and electrons from your cells, which causes cell damage. And this is why many scientists today think that this is the cause of aging, because it kills your cells gradually. It's basically a result of external factors. So while I was researching, I found some, noticed some interesting concepts. The first would be that there are proteins at the ends of telomeres called shelterin. Shelterin proteins protect the telomeres, and they take, protect it from the DNA damage response, which would otherwise, without shelterin, destroy telomeres, and thus your DNA, which would make your chromosomes messed up, and your, you'd age. Your cell would be reach senescence, as the chrom your DNA would be mixed up, and your chromosome ends would fuse together. And I also noticed that without sheltering, um, free radicals destroy DNA backbones. So they do this, Primarily by, with these free radicals are the main ones. So they steal atoms and electrons by way of hydroxyl and oxidation reactions. These reactions are the ones that cause your DNA structure to collapse, essentially causing aging because your cell has mutations and cannot replicate properly. This causes senescence. So, as you can see here, many people today think that aging is either telomeres or free radicals. It's one or the other for them. But actually, I believe in the theory that telomere aging is caused by both. As I explained before, when free radicals get into your body, they get into your cells, and basically they destroy the membrane first by way of hydroxyl and oxidation reactions. And then they are, re re they are attracted to the nucleotide bases that your DNA is made up of. In doing this, they separate the atoms and they destroy your DNA, which causes senescence and your shell cell to shut down. As you can see here, it, aptosis is cell death, senescence is aging. So basically, free radicals eliminate shelterin by destroying it, and then they eliminate your DNA which causes aging in my, in my theory. <coughs> so here's a picture of some damaged chromosomes. They were damaged by free radicals that were caused by UV rays, and that led to cell death, aptosis. So as you can see, if you think of how much damage a free radical can do to your cell in minutes, this is not only limited to your chromosomes, however, it's, limited, it's also Free radicals can also do tons of damage to the vital components of your cell. They steal atoms from lipids, phosphates, carbohydrates, of glucose, and sugars, and that can destroy the organelles as well as the membrane and protective functions of the cell. 
So in all, in summary, this is my theory, that free radicals from the environment and inside your body can cause damage to your DNA and thus lead to aging and they will cause cell death. So instead of one or the other, I think that aging is actually a combined of two, combination of two theories. Moving forward, um, I think I would like to do a ton of research more, specifically on telomerase and how it affects telomeres and the sustenance of shelter. Thank you.